What's up guys, this is David from How To Ghost, and today I'm gonna to take you through the roles that a user can have when using Ghost. So there's four different kind of users right now. There's the owner user, the administrator, the editor, and the author. The owner user is the user that was created when you first set up Ghost. So it cannot be deleted, it has access to everything, and can do any of the setting changes that you need and all the content changes that you want. Uh, the owner user, it's usually a good idea if you're going to have uh, a lot of users on your blog to be a more general user because it can never be deleted. You want to be able to access that user if someone was to leave a company. So a more general email is usually better than a specific person's email. So if you're going to have other people you want to administer the blog, you want to make all of them administrators. Administrators have all the same privileges as an owner. They can still do everything that they need you to do. For example, I'm logged in right here as the owner and you can see that there's uh, settings and the team, you can invite different people. Um, administrators can do all the same things too. So beyond the administrator, there's the editor user. The editor doesn't have access to any of these settings, but does have access to all the content. So they can publish, they can unpublish, delete, make any changes to the, to the content that they want. They just won't be able to see any of the settings. So I'm logged in as an editor right here to the same blog. And you can see that I can't see any of the settings down here to change. I can see all the content, I can make new posts, and I can see the team. The editor is able to invite other authors, but they're not able to invite anyone else. They can't invite administrators or even people on their same level, but they can invite authors. So that's kind of nice. And then beyond the editor is the author. The author only has access to the content that is assigned to them, so content they've written or content that an editor or someone else has tagged them as being the writer of. So they can change and publish and unpublish and whatever they need to that content, but they can't see anything else. So a lot of people ask, like, okay, well, can we have an author that's not able to publish? All they can do is write. And right now, that's not possible. Um, the authors is able to publish and delete or whatever else they need to do. Uh, maybe in the future that'll be possible and kind of the stance right now is if you don't trust them not to publish and use the blog right, then maybe they should be writing elsewhere and then an editor can publish it. But that might come in the future uh, with apps or maybe extended user roles down the line. So that's kind of it for user roles. There's four main users. Um, feel free to take them a spin yourself. If you have any comments, definitely feel free to let us know. Uh, there are there is a text post for this that we've written that kind of is just a text overview of what I've said and then there's also a post by ghost that goes over all of the breakdowns of each uh, setting and who has access to what I'll have a link to both of those in the description uh, we also have a ghost for beginners ebook that goes over stuff like this and then a lot of other uh, areas if you're new to ghost we'll have a link for that in the description as well and uh, if you feel like subscribing or giving us a like we'd love that and uh, we'll see you guys next Wednesday thanks for watching